Hey guys, welcome to another video where we are going to ex be expanding on our loose leash walking skills. Now I have my dog with his collar on and I do have a leash um, attached to him. I chose a thinner leash simply because he's going to be dragging it around. And so if you have a thinner leash, I would use that, maybe a puppy line or anything like that. If not, no worries. Just be mindful about the loop and making sure that they, you are in a safe environment and they can't get caught on anything. All right. So with our previous loose leash walking video, we worked on collar grab and having our dog know that the collar grab is a great thing. So next, we're going to be working on two things. First, we're going to be working on having a little bit of pressure added to the leash, but we're also going to be working on something else that is just as important, if not even more important than any skill. It is very, very beginner, and it's one of the things that a lot of people kind of skip over, and it's teaching your dog how to follow your hand. It's called luring. With luring, what we're doing is being able to kind of manipulate our dog's body in a positive way so that we can get them to do what we want. And by, by doing that, we are able to put our dogs in a sit or we're able to lure them into heel position. There's so many other things that we can do with lures, but those are just a couple of examples that it's very, very versatile. So with this game, all I'm doing is I'm going to put a couple of pieces of food or treats, whatever you have. I'm doing three in each hand and I'm going to be working to move the next one to the front with my thumbs. And I'm going to present one hand to my dog and then start moving him kind of in somewhat of a figure of eight position, really just so that I can move him back and forth. Whoops, and my hand, your hands will definitely get slobbery. So if you are, um, do, if you don't like dirty hands or slob or anything, definitely wear a pair of gloves when you're doing this. Um, so it's, your dogs are very forgiving, trust me. and. Um, if it if the treat falls or if they accidentally get two out of your hand, it's no big deal. There you go. You get this one too. All right. So we're just practicing moving them back and forth, getting them to follow our hands. Now, Atlas has been doing this for a long time. If you have a brand new puppy, you might only get, say, six inches from where you started and then you're treating and then another six inches and then you're treating again. You want your dog's nose to be glued to your hand. But especially with super excited puppies, you want to make sure they're not nipping you or hurting you in any way. So if they are, then one thing you can do is just hold your, um, hold your fist in the palm of your hand and present it to them. You can see Atlas is nibbling my hand and everything. The second he starts licking, I'm going to open my hand and give him a treat. We're not even moving at this point. Yes. And then I'm gonna present my other hand and do the same thing, yes. And then when he gets the idea of just either holding his nose to my hand or simply licking my hand, then we can start moving. I don't want you guys getting hurt with this. So take it slow, maybe only do one or two repetitions at a time, take a break and then come back a little bit later throughout the day. But Good. We want to make sure that they are relatively calm when we do this. Because if I amp Atlas up, he's going to be nipping my hands and, and biting and doing his cattle dog thing. So if I keep it calm, then he is more likely to be able to use his tongue and not hurt me when I do this. So I really love this game, especially because he, I have him dragging the leash. I didn't even get to the importance of the leash part. Um, so with the leash and the importance of it is as I'm moving him around and practicing luring him, his leash is just being dragged. He's just getting used to the weight of the leash attached to his collar. 
And also it's going to be inevitable that he is going to step on it eventually. And when he steps on it, he does feel that pressure. So he's kind of learning a little bit of what that leash pressure is. Even if you are just using a light puppy lead, um, that creates some weight on their collar. And that weight is sometimes scary to certain sensitive dogs. Sometimes it's no big deal to other dogs, but it's something that they should be aware of and get used to before you start going on walks. Now, I really love this game for the luring aspect of things, but it has so many more benefits when you attach a leash to the dog. Another thing you could do is as you are luring the dog, you could actually step on the leash to create a little bit of pressure. So as you can see, I'm in my socks, so the leash is just kind of sliding out, but it's giving just a little bit of pressure that our dogs can get used to. Now, later on, there's a game called giving into leash pressure, which will actually teach our dogs that leash pressure means come back to me. When we do that game, we'll be doing something very similar to this, but we'll be teaching our dogs that when they hit that end of the lead, that's when they should turn back and look at us. And this game is great for preparing for that. I hope you have fun, guys. I hope you enjoy this game. And yeah, keep on training.